Why does the narcissist hate and envy you? What triggers the narcissist to hate and envy us so much? I want to make something clear. I am not meant for narcissist consumption. If a narcissist tries to consume me, they will experience an allergic reaction. They will become sick, angry, hateful and envious. When they first meet us, they are attracted to our good qualities. They like it and that's what draws them to us. But then their vibratory frequency interacts with our positive frequency. Our qualities conflict and they become frustrated and full of anger. In this type of situation, a normal emotionally healthy person will recognize that they have an allergy to us. They will realize that their qualities and values conflict with ours. They will then stop consuming from us, realizing that it makes them feel a certain way. Here is where we get into the crazy, mentally dysfunctional part of all of this. The narcissist will become sick, angry, hateful and envious from being around you. Yet they will still continue to come back and interact with you. They will stalk, harass and watch everything you do. They like your good qualities, but they cannot digest them. They become sick by trying to consume something they are not meant to consume. So now they hate you. They become envious because they cannot partake. So now they want to take everything away from you. They want to sabotage your life and prevent your progress because they cannot be a part of it. They will stalk, harass and watch you, yet everything they see, everything they hear will affect them greatly and only cause them to become more hateful, angry and envious towards you. But they will still continue to come back again and again. It creates an obsession within them an addiction. Healthy people will be able to digest your good qualities. They will be able to absorb the information without letting it affect their frequency. Without experiencing any negative emotions or discomfort within them because they are on the same frequency. But the narcissist feels great discomfort whenever they are around you. Whenever they hear certain information or read certain things. Because we are not meant for their consumption. Yet they continue to come back. They continue to stalk, harass and watch everything you do, knowing all too well that it's going to make them sick. It's going to make them hateful, angry and envious. And this is a clear identification of the personality disorder. If you feel sick or feel any negative emotions when you are around a person 
or you feel a certain way when you hear things about them or read certain information. That is your body, mind and soul giving you a clear sign that you are not meant to consume this person. Yet they still come back and then point the finger at you. They hate you and become angry when you are not meant for their consumption. They really need to leave you alone and mind their own business and let those individuals who are on your frequency partake in your greatness. Those people who value and qualities resonate with you. It makes you feel happy, positive and fulfilled because you're on the same frequency. With the narcissists, it will only create more hate, anger and envy within them. They will continue to consume the very thing they hate over and over again while it's making them sick. As you continue, as you continue to heal and practice self-love, you will notice the narcissist becoming very sick and angry towards you. It's because they cannot partake in your greatness. They could never recover from their abusive and manipulative ways. They could never look within, self-reflect and learn to love themselves. I am not meant for narcissist consumption. I am meant for people who share the same good qualities which I possess. Self-love, self-esteem, self-respect, empathy, consideration, genuine happiness, boundaries, an ability to experience a deep emotional connection. If you do not value these qualities, being around me is going to make you sick. Which means that you will not be able to partake. It will only make you envious. We value ourselves and we don't just act like it on the outside like they do. On the inside we really believe it. Narcissists have an inferiority complex and a reptilian brain. They fake self-love on the outside and pretend to have all of the qualities that we have. They will appeal to our own ideals and act like they are on the same frequency. But they're not. We are genuine and honest people. So naturally, there will be some conflict there. Fake, dishonest and manipulative people cannot metabolize us. But they continue to come back and consume us. Even though it's making them sick. We operate on a different, more positive frequency to the narcissists. They see us and admire our positive qualities. They wonder how we can move through life in this way without getting sick. We can because it resonates with us. We are on the same frequency as whatever we are seeing, reading or listening to. They can see that it is good for us, so they want to partake in it. But it's no good for them, it makes them sick. Yet they continue to come back again and again. It just reinforces their hate, anger and envy towards us. So now they don't want us to operate on this frequency anymore. Because they can't partake in it. 
They want to separate us from the very thing that fulfills us in life. They can't get any nourishment from it, so they don't want us to either. They try to destroy our good qualities. They abuse and manipulate us. They gaslight us in a, an attempt to distort our reality. Because their reality isn't like that. If they cannot feel properly nourished, then you shouldn't either. If you do feel nourished, then you shouldn't have it. So the narcissist will prevent your proper nourishment. Remember, the narcissist does not want you to progress or succeed in any way. If you are being fulfilled by anything in your life, that is a major threat to them. So whatever it is that might fulfill you or help you progress, believe that they will keep it away from you at all costs. Because they cannot partake or it doesn't fulfill them. Just the thought of your progression or fulfillment causes great pain to the narcissist. Anything that is good must be kept away from you, taken or destroyed. This could be information, career, money, relationships, friendships. The thought of you progressing or succeeding in any of this makes them sick. It makes them sick because they are emotionally unhealthy people they don't want you to fuel yourself and they don't want to give you the proper nourishment you need the narcissist has a backwards mind they will not give you anything that will properly nourish or resonate with you the thought of this makes them sick and they cannot stand it they can't get the proper nourishment or fulfillment in life so why should you? This is the mindset of the narcissist. But if you are an empath or emotionally healthy person and you are trying to build a healthy relationship, give your partner, child or friend, whatever it is they need in that relationship to progress and succeed. Obviously, if this vibes or resonates with them, it's not going to do them any harm. This means that they can get the proper nourishment or fulfillment which they need to excel in life. Just as an athlete requires a specialist diet or a high-end car requires the proper fuel, this will replenish them and allow them to progress and succeed in their lives if they can find nourishment in it and it resonates or vibes with them it's not going to do them any harm but narcissists no they cannot do any of that it makes them hateful angry and envious it makes them sick and this is a clear identification of the disorder.